In order to start, we'll put the attention on the breath for just a few moments. <coughs> Now please repeat after me. May I be free from enmity. May I be free from enmity. So the first thing to do with that is to have a look at oneself and see whether sometimes, often or seldom, enmity arises in the heart. Negativity towards people, rejection, dislike, worry and fear, they all fall under that heading. See if that happens. And then the next step would be to ascertain whether those emotions bring happiness or unhappiness. If they bring unhappiness, what can I do to change that? If at this particular moment I don't know how to change it, have a look. Why does it arise? What's the reason? If you see the reasons, you will also see the remedy. be free from hurtfulness. Again we'll have a look inside ourselves whether we sometimes or often or seldom hurt another living being. Now that includes physical but particularly emotional. And if we do find that this happens, ask why? And the answer may be another question. Find the reasons. 
and then see whether this is wholesome and useful or whether it would better be better if it was changed. And it's important also to recognize how will I change that? The determination to do so is only a first step. The next step is how do I do that? Can you use any of the things you've heard be free from troubles of mind and body. Now again we take a look and see whether we have any. And if there are any troubles with the body, can we let go? Letting go with the mind. go with the mind, not to be troubled by the body. Do we have any troubles of the mind? What could we let go so that those troubles go? Do we have enough friendship and love for ourselves to do the best thing for ourselves? Not indulgence, just wisdom and real attention to our own well-being.
may I be able to protect my own happiness. Now this is an important question. What is my own happiness? Is it depend upon outer conditions, depend upon people? And if so, does that produce anxiety and fear of loss? What is my true happiness? Can I actually find it within? Or do I know about it? Can I fathom what it's like? And if I can, what does it mean to protect it? beings be free from enmity. May all beings be free from enmity. Having seen within ourselves that enmity is the cause of unhappiness, that we ourselves don't want to harbor it, we wish the same for everyone else. We see our likeness, our togetherness, and we realize that our own peace and joy needs to go together with our love and care for others. If we have found a way to overcome enmity in our hearts, we may be able to share it. In any case, our love and care for others can come out in our wish for their well-being and happiness.
May all beings be free from hurtfulness. And again, having realized that hurtfulness in ourselves is only hurtful to us and creates unhappiness around us, we wish the lack of it for all beings and we let our hearts reach out to as many beings as possible wishing for them peacefulness joyfulness independent of outer conditions just as we are trying to find within ourselves. beings be free from troubles of mind and body. This wish for others needs also to be based on the inside that there are no beings, human or otherwise, that don't have troubles. Dukkha, it's part of existence. And if we do wish for ourselves and others that they may not have any dukkha, any trouble, then we wish them at the same time to tread the path to eliminate all dukkha and we wish that out of empathy out of compassion with ourselves and others beings be able to protect their own happiness. First of all that tells us that we must never disrupt another being's happiness whatever they think it may be but also we wish for them happiness within independent of outer conditions just like we have tried to find in our own selves